So a few days ago, I was watching this Vice documentary about North Korea when I saw someone using a computer and I was thinking, what operating system is this? Apparently, they have built their own operating system called Red Star OS. So obviously, I had to try it. Right. So first things first, I need to actually get this thing. I guess let's search for North Korean OS download. Red Star Korean and English install. Is the North Korean operating system safe to download? It will log everything you will do with it and attempt to send it to North Korean authorities. Ah, ah boom. Okay, so I guess this is the installation process. I have absolutely no idea what any of it means. But I guess the blue button means continue or next. At least I hope so. What is this? I guess this says Red Star 3.0. Let's select our hard drive and probably install. So now we need to create a new user. Um, Im. Can we change our profile picture? Yes. Let's pick this cat. I have absolutely no idea what any of these other fields mean. So can we just continue? THGP. Okay. Uh, let's just skip it. Location. Time. Yep. Yep. And it's installing now, I guess. Is it finished? I hope this is not a nuke countdown. Here we are. This is what the average North Korean sees when they boot their computer up, if they have one, of course. So I guess first things first, can we somehow change the resolution? Also, there is one major issue. You probably already noticed that everything is in Korean and I can't read Korean. So it might be fun. I guess we have to navigate this system through trial and error. So first of all, we need to find the settings. I guess this could be settings. Oh, maybe we can search for resolution. Nope. Maybe that one. Nope. Maybe here. Nope. Maybe this one. Yes. Nice. Now we can actually see what we're doing. All right. So let's explore a little bit. What is this? Oh, that's a file explorer. Let me see if there's anything interesting in that. Drop box. Why is there a folder called Dropbox? What is that? And it's completely empty. Hmm. Interesting. Anything else? All of these folders are empty. Oh, there are a lot of files in here. These are probably some Linux required files, I would say. Okay, these are some executable programs. Nice, nice. Okay. I mean, the file explorer looks nice. There is nothing really wrong with it. I mean, the whole operating system looks like it is from the early 2000s, but my first impressions are that it looks pretty nice. Let's see what other options there are. Um, I guess this is a browser. Okay. Media player, calendar. Yep. Works like any other calendar, I would say. This is some kind of PDF reader, I would say. Oh, calculator. 6 plus 7 equals 13. Yep, works like any calculator. At least the math is same. Okay, and this is probably settings. Is there a way to change the language? Okay, here are some kind of languages. When I select them, it doesn't do anything. Hmm. So how can we change the language? I looked it up and apparently by default, you can't change the language to English. You have to obtain the root taxes and enter the certain commands to get the English language. I guess let's try that. First of all, we have to open terminal. All right. This seems like terminal. Okay. Yes. So now we have to run a command called root setting. Okay. Let's click the padlock to open it. Now it's asking for our password. We didn't set the password for our user account. So I guess let's just click continue. Did you hear that? Nice. Okay. And now we have to give our root account a password. So let's give it some random password and hit continue. Boom. Okay. So now we can exit out of that and enter the command called S U. And now we have to insert our password. Yes. So now we are root user. Now we have to enter this command, which basically would allow us to get the operating system to run in English. Um, so I hope that works. Let's see, let's run it. Okay, nothing happened. And now we have to reboot our system, which is, yeah. How do we reboot our system? That's a good question. I would say, so this is logout, I would say. Maybe this one it seems like it. Yes. Okay, let's log in. Nice, everything is now in English. Now we can actually understand what each option does and doesn't have to guess anymore. All right, so let's go back to the settings and see what other options there are. Desktop and screensaver. Ooh, these are all the wallpapers. Okay, these wallpapers seem pretty normal, I would say. Son gun. Okay. 
Now this is North Korean wallpaper. Snow site of Tabaksol. All right. Potato flower sea of Taehong Dan. Ooh, what is this black one? Ah, oh, that looks tank. All right, I'll keep this one. Translucent menu bar. Oh, that makes the top menu bar transparent. Let's keep that on. Change picture every hour. And let's turn that off. Screen saver. Kim BC. Particle fountain. Solar winds. Standard. Son gun. Uh, I'll keep that one. Doc. Oh, we can change the size. Magnification. That doesn't seem to do anything. Position on screen. Left. Ooh, bottom. Right. Let's keep it at bottom. Minimize using genie effect. Wait, let's try. Oops. Oops. Let's try the scale effect. Rip. Rip. I like the genie effect. Animate opening applications. Yeah, we can turn that on. Automatically hide and show the top. Ooh, okay. General. Ooh, we can change the appearance. Graphite. Highlight color. Let's make it red. Font smoothing style. Does that change anything? Yeah, let's keep it at full. Oh, what we were looking earlier, these were input sources. Yeah, okay, I see now. Formats. Um, TPR Korea. Okay. Calendar. Yuche. Gregorian. Oh, I guess North Koreans use different calendar type. They don't use Gregorian. They use Yuche. All right. All right. But let's change that to, I don't know, Germany. Okay. What else are there? Security. Uh -huh. Firewall. Oh, so I guess these are some firewall security rules that North Korean authorities have set. Allow incoming connections advanced. SSH HTTPS. Okay. Integrity. Mm -hmm. Hardware. CDs and DVDs. Displays. We can change the brightness as well. Mouse and keyboard. Anything interesting in here? Uh, not really. Mouse. Tracking speed. Double click speed. Scrolling speed. Yeah, mouse speed actually feels okay. Yeah, modifier keys. That's all nice. Sound. Networking. Our internet connection is currently disabled since I don't want North Korean authorities to come after me. So I'll keep that disabled right now. But later on, we might do something interesting. Accounts. These are all our accounts. Login items. All right. Date and time. Time zone. Closest city. Pyongyang. TPR Korea. Okay. Osaka. Tokyo. Yakutsk. Mm -hmm. Right. So the system preferences or system settings is, I would say, pretty normal. There's nothing really anything interesting in here. So let's explore what other applications are installed. Applications. Oh, so this was address book. No card selected. All right. Um, app link. Calculator CHM viewer. What is this? Okay. I'm not too sure what this application is font book okay so these are all the pre-installed fonts that are installed on this operating system yeah nice korean okay grab what is grab okay so this application doesn't open for some reason i can click on it but it doesn't do anything so this is calendar this is photos we don't have any photos and this application is for some reason in korean mail you can send mails yeah mailing works like any mailing okay what else is there mail browser pdf editor we don't have any videos um which is all right preview the preview application doesn't open as well for some reason sample text hello there yep works like any sample text Ooh, do we want to save the changes you made in document untitled discard song wang office let's try creating an actual document let's see if this thing is actually functional or just for show the quick brown box jumps over the lazy dog yeah I mean, typing works. Let's try to format it in some way. I guess this makes it bold, italic, yeah, underline, yeah. Let's try to change the font, maybe. Microsoft I Lee, yeah, it works. Everything is Korean, though. Let's try to insert the table, six by six. Yeah, everything works just fine. The interface looks like it's from, I don't know, me 2000 spot. Overall, it's clean and organized. This is actually a competent word application. I'm not going to write my thesis on it, but for basic document creation, I mean, it's totally usable. Let me try saving this document. Um, I guess save document. Let's save it here. Save. Let's see if we can find this in Finder. The desktop documents. And here's our document. Yeah, this is working way better than I expected, actually. Okay, so 
Now I want to actually try to access the internet. Currently, when I try to open the browser, you get a bunch of errors. I don't even know what it's saying. So for some reason, the IP tables firewall is set to only allow outgoing connection to certain ports. North Korea's intranet uses IP addresses only. So you can't get the proper internet connection on this operating system by default. Now to fix that, we have to run a bunch of commands in root to clear the default firewall settings. All right, so let's Let's exit out of that and let's open the command prompt again. So this is in utilities terminal. So now we need to run the su command and enter our password. Nice. And now we have to remove the IP tables config. So let's remove that. And now we have to reboot our IP tables. So let's run service IP tables restart. Flashing firewall rules, okay. Setting change to policy accept filter, okay. Unloading modules, okay. All right, so let's try to access google.com now. Server was not found. Firefox can't find server at google.com. Mm, so I guess there are some problems still. Right, let me reboot for a second. Okay, so I rebooted my system. Let's try to access the Google now. Server not found. So maybe there is um, a DNS setting we haven't configured. Let's go back to network, advanced, DNS, DNS servers, search domains. So let's add 1.1.1.1 and let's also add DNS server as 1.1.1.1. Okay, apply. All right, let's see if you can access it now. Yes, it's working now. Of course, since we are running, I don't know which version of the browser, it looks like it's straight from 2000. We can search for North Korea maybe. and. Some of it loads pictures. Yeah. And we are connected to the internet. We're browsing actually the internet on this operating system. Now you shouldn't do this. Please don't do this. This operating system is highly malicious. So let's see if you can actually download some kind of image. Save as image. Images.jpg. Download. Save. This is our image. Can we open that? Yes. Can we set it as our wallpaper maybe? Finder. Desktop. Download. Images. Set as background. Centered. Yeah, I mean, this is highly pixelated, but I mean, everything works. So what's the honest verdict here? I mean, it actually works. Like, really works. I expected broken software and propaganda everywhere, but it's just pretty normal, which is almost disappointing. Wait, somebody is knocking at my door. Yes, hello.